Now more on this uh, five horse uh, go-kart engine uh, build up here. Uh, now one thing I want to mention, um, this engine will be run, uh, running on gasoline, not on alcohol. Like it's not a, uh, you know, an actual uh, racing go-kart uh, engine that I'm making here to be raced on a, a track with, you know, rules that apply and all that type of thing. It's just for like a backyard uh, go-kart type thing. But anyway, uh, a little bit more here. I want to talk more and maybe get some discussion started on uh, uh, valve guide uh, inserts and uh, valves and things. I was looking on some racing go-kart um, websites and uh, one thing I wanted to point out here um, this is the uh, original valve out of this engine exhaust valve and as you can see there's uh, quite a uh, uh, it's really worn and uh, like ten thousandths of an inch which is uh, a, a lot so when I put it in there like it has like an, an unbelievable amount of play so the first thing I did I found another valve which basically has nowhere and uh, that of course tightened it up somewhat but uh, in my opinion it's still loose now once again I you know I want to mention that this engine is going to be run on gasoline uh, so I just wonder uh, does anybody out there know uh, this is a, uh, a CV EXF 283 125 uh, brass uh, valve guide uh, insert um, just wonder if anybody knows uh, if if it's okay to run uh, this engine on gasoline if I was to put uh, that insert into it from the looks of things it has a uh, it has a sintered uh, valve guide in it from the factory and uh, from what I've read uh, some places on the net um, that's what leads to uh, such uh, a large amount of wear on the exhaust uh, uh, valve there but anyway, um, the other thing I'd like to mention here is uh, engine oil. Uh, it's come to my attention that over the last few years they've reduced the amount of uh, zinc uh, phosphorus compounds which uh, can lead to uh, wearing the lobes off camshafts on cars and things. Uh, uh, flat tappet engines versus uh, roller uh, engines. Now of course these old Briggses, they're all flat tappets. But I just wondered if, uh, you know, the change in uh, the oils was uh, having any effect. And when you uh, stop and think about it, uh, a lot of these old Briggses that I have from, you know, 60s on up, uh, they were made to all run on leaded gasoline also. So I, I just wondered if any of these things are, uh, you know, coming into play. I know when they switched to leaded gasoline cars, you could uh, you could burn up the face of the exhaust valve over time and uh, I saw that happen on my Dodge Charger uh, two of the exhaust valves which were new uh, when I rebuilt the engine had over you know 50,000 miles they had uh, uh, burned uh, burned the valves uh, one of them especially had like a, a flat edge on it so I, I don't see stuff like that happening on Briggs engines but uh, uh, you know, just wondered what the consequences of all these changes, especially in oil, uh, is having to some of the internal components like that. So anyway, if, if anybody wants to, uh, you know, add anything to the discussion, I'd appreciate it. Uh, some of the motor oil now, I guess it's up to uh, API uh, SN. Uh, they say the, I believe it was SL was the last one that had the uh, uh, significant amount of uh, the the zinc uh, compounds in it there uh, for uh, you know helps out your uh, valve train and then they reduced that for uh, to extend catalytic converter life but uh, if anybody has to, any comments on any of this I'd uh, appreciate it and like to get a discussion going here anyway uh, continuing on with the, uh, the five horse uh, brakes build up here